Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be checking out another course from Picanto 2014 and this one is called Whispering Palms and there is two versions to this course. As you can see on the screen there, we've got Whispering Palms New. There is another version which is Whispering Palms uh, GC DBD I believe it is. Um, and I believe, uh, as far as I'm aware, there's a bit of a bug or something like that. There's something with the course. So if you are going to give it a play, um, if you haven't already done so, uh, do check out the one with new in the title. Um, so this is a Par 72 course and it's in the rustic theme. And course description goes as follows. Welcome to Whispering Palms GC. Stay in one of our luxury complexes and take in the beautiful scenery. Play the course and meander through the fairways to reach the greens that are fair but deceiving. The course is 7,925 yards from the back tees and is surrounded by beautiful palm trees, lake or large bunkers, like lake bunkers, <laughs> uh, large bunkers, water hazards, and with some fantastic views from the tees. We hope you will enjoy your round of golf and come back to visit us again. So uh, this one is out a uh, couple of weeks anyway, at least two, three weeks. Uh, so I'm only just getting around to it now as I've said the last couple of videos. I'm just kind of lagging a little bit behind. Um, with getting videos out it's just uh it's a bit mad at the moment um but with stuff going on at home and then in work as well so i'm just getting stuff done here there and bloody everywhere but uh as we do anyway we'll keep everything on default so we're gonna have normal fairways and normal greens medium green speed time of day is noon and it's slightly cloudy we are gonna play from the back tees which are the black ones 7927 yards did say that a moment ago and we will keep it on pin set number one um yeah so i have to say good if number of courses now featured on the channel uh just give me a look at tdc tours uh get, try and get a rough count uh one two three five that's a good six seven seven or eight courses now i do believe it is um by picanto featured on the channel i literally actually just played one by him as well uh let me see if i can get the name of uh should be here actually i think oh yeah the Lynx club number one um just played that in the dbd society actually just to warm up didn't realize it was by himself by picanto until uh it was halfway through the round but we are going to kick this one off uh hole number one par four 521 yards and it's down 15 feet so lengthy one to kick things off and uh, some nice large white bunkers the white sand and that i will assume there is our clubhouse let's see let's come out i should have gone the other way um we got the putter so oh, very nice the steps leading over and um what course was it i was saying about a moat around the castle and now here, oh no it's oh it is looping around by the looks of it um let's just see if we can zoom if i can get the controls right we'll go up through the clubs it is looping right around the back Shame this is high as it is indeed, and uh, bridges all around. Leading in, here we go, a uh, little driving range. Practice your approach shots. Yeah, I can't remember. What what the hell was the name of the course? <laughs> I can't think of what it was now with the castle that had uh, the moat in it. It'll probably it'll come to me at some stage. But uh, right, let's get things underway. Uh, we'll just reset our shot. So, as so I did say, lengthy one to kick things off. It's playing sort of like par 5 conditions, or par 5 length, should I say, of distance. And 9 mile per hour wind, 8 mile per hour on the face. Ooh, a little slow off the tee. Are we paying a visit to our first? With bunkers, now we're going to stick the, the heavy rough. So, it kind of started off this way, actually, in the warm-up round, and then... Uh, well, it was a par five to kick things off. Pretty sure it was, and uh, escaped with a birdie. But let's see, that's terrible light percentage out of the rough. So I think we'll just stick with the four iron. We'll knock as many more yards off as we can. Just uh, take the medicine on that one. Bad tee shot. All right, so 106. Kind of play about 111. Uh, Mm. Yeah, I think we we'll play the, the, the gap wedge in just with that wind. That'll do. Slightly pulled out, though it's holding pretty well. And solid shots. So hopefully, we can get away with par here. Oh, hopefully, yeah, we should. Barely. 
any movement in this at all. 144 is the green speed. So slightly on the slower side, I did say it was medium pace. Okay, so hole number two, another par four. And it's measuring 339 yards up three feet. Wind is dropping right down four mile per hour. And nice big, just caught it there. Oh, hello, I'll have a little look at that now in a second. Big uh, elevated bunk, or elevated bunker, do you hear me? Elevated T, uh, T box with the retain them all. And yeah, did see, say just, uh, this is one of the other complexes I assume. There, a few little swimming pools. Or take a splash in the lake. Very nice, and a few little seating areas as well. Get yourself in out of, out of sun, which I have to say, it's actually quite warm here today. I will apologise also if there is a little bit of noise in the background, because it's uh, quiet. It's only early evening that I'm actually recording. It's saying right now, uh, 23 degrees out, and it's a bit active outside in the estate. So uh, if there is any just subtle background noise, I do apologise. But uh, let's put a little bit of fade on this one. I'll come over here a little bit. Thumb just didn't want to do anything there. Still a bit of a slight slow off the tee, but it should be okay. It looks good. Oh, wait, no. We're going to run into the first cut. We are. We'll just leave his little flop shot on by the looks of that distance. 49, going to play about 51. Oh, dirty red fast. So lengthy putt for the birdie, but again, little to no break in it. Oh, uh, badly under hit that. Always takes me a little bit to adjust to the slightly slower pace on the greens. We used to always playing around at least the 160s up. So no par fives. There's no par fives on the front nine by the looks of it. That's if I saw it correctly anyway. But hole number three is another par four. And measuring 247 yards up six feet. So I'm going to play about 249. Call it 245 ish with the wind. So oof. now 235 is my three wood. I mean, it would be definitely rude not to try and go for this in one. Uh, five wood, not going to get there, even with that wind. So what we'll have to do, ooh, are we going to go, I think we might actually hit that, let me just, we go the other way, do a big fade, it's going to go horribly wrong, but sure, it's worth a shot. Say so thumb just doesn't want to do it today. Oh, we carried the bunker, so ended up pretty much where we would if we went dead straight with the five wood. Leaves us 20, up to 70%, bit of a nasty lie, so we'll see what the sand wedge can do. Splash ourselves out again, slightly slow. But we have got a birdie opportunity. Let's try not to want to hit it this time, we don't, and that is one under on the scorecard. And so a weekend as well just gone uh ubisoft we're doing a free-to-play weekend of far cry 6 so i decided i haven't played a far cry game in a, in a long time we'll talk about it now in a second uh hole number four par four 444 yards of all the force and it's down seven feet wind in the face trying to pick itself back up a bit there we go that's a nice swing but uh, yeah, I haven't played a Far Cry game in years. I think it's Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3, something like that was the last time I played them. And I said, you know what, I'll give it a go. And I'm actually enjoying it, so um, I think it's finished. I think I'm locked out of the game now. Um, but uh, yeah, I might actually pick it up. But another one that I've started playing, something else that I haven't played in years, the last time I played it, we'll just get this approach shot out of the way. Um, so 165, I've got to play about 164, 170-ish. We'll put a little bit of loft and spin on this, send it up a little bit higher. We have got to run downhill if we do come up short anyway. 
Oh, that's a tidy swing. But uh, yeah, another one that I haven't played in years is uh, Call of Duty. And it was just while it was down low, while Far Cry was downloading. That is a beautiful approach shot. Yeah. I was having a look around the uh, PlayStation Store. And I'm constantly seeing posts about it as well on uh, on Facebook and such. Is um, Warzone. And I said, Do you know what? Go on, I'll give it a go. And uh, download it. And I'm actually having great fun. I say the last time I played anything to do with Call of Duty was 2019. Was the alpha and the beta weekends for modern warfare and uh, then when i heard the way that the the direction they were taking they were taking it i just I, it didn't interest me but i'm actually i'm actually quite enjoying it playing like pure crap but <laughs> enjoying it. i really lost my reactions and and situational awareness but i'm slowly getting it back but anyway hole number five par four that's 502 yards another lengthy one and it's down eight feet and i think we'll put a little bit of loft an attack angle on this, send it up a little bit higher. Oh, there we go. Slight push, but the wind should bring it back and hold it for the fairway. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Luckily, kicked it out into the fairway there. Thought we were going to be the spot of bother again, but that leaves us with 202 yards down, seven feet. So about 200, 194, 195 with the wind. Um, so I think we'll actually pull back to the five iron. Keep it about here. If it touches down in around about this area of the green, it should slightly kick itself to the right. It is feeding that way. We'll have to aim out a little bit more actually. It's the ball above the feet. Oh, where's that going to go? I can see two bunkers. And we are in the first of them. Oh, no, not even in the bunker, in the rough. Little band of heavy rough there. Right, 22. We're going to play about 23. Right, we get a splash shot. But I think we're going to have to play. Now, I hold on. That might fly the hole. Put a little bit of D-loft on the sand wedge. Yeah, I think that was definitely the better the better option there. I think the I think the gap wedge would have just gone a little bit too long, even with the light percentage. So managed to escape with the par again, keep ourselves at two under. But uh, yeah, what else I did was as well, um because as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, I'm in the process, even though it's ground to a bloody halt now at the moment, <laughs> is in the process of gathering parts, build a PC. Um what I went and did as well was I went and just picked up just because I I really I noticed that um I don't know how long it's been a thing, but uh, mouse and keyboard is actually uh, compatible on PlayStation with um, with a, a number of games, but with uh, with Warzone in particular. So I went out and bought myself a cheap little mouse and keyboard just to get a feel for it again. Aim at the mouse is not too bad, but bloody hell, I keep fumbling the keyboard big time. Um, but uh, let me see, hole number six anyway, par three. That's uh, 235 yards down one foot. So I think we'll just play straight up the five wood. Aim it around about here. That this is already opened itself up for disaster here. We've got water all around the green, and I'm aiming to try and feed it down the slope. Oh, yeah, there, there, see? Told you. I jinxed, cursed the commentator, I've jinxed myself. But, uh, yeah, I just I say, I keep fumbling the keyboard because it's so long since I last used a uh, mouse and keyboard. And uh, let's just try this again. Oh, where was that the first time? Where was that the first time? That's what I was trying to aim for the slope over to the left side, feed it back towards the hole. But uh, yeah, I say aim is not too aim is not bad with the mouse now. So I say it's just keep it the wrong keys for reloading, opening doors, and crouching and stuff. And I'm sure I look ridiculous to any player that's, <laughs> that's shooting me, but uh, having fun with it anyway. Right, four bogey, get ourselves back to, or drop or go back up to one under. Uh, let's see if we can't get this in. Very minimal break again. Oh no, we're taking it. We're going back to even par. <laughs> Double bogey. That's a right kick to the crotch right there. You know, I knew I knew straight away though. I was setting myself up for disaster and it just it, that got into my head. So red fast off the tee, splash it went. Hole number seven, par four. That's 353 yards up 
six feet. Wind is dying off down again to four miles per hour. Um, water down the right, plenty of bunkers. I'll be happy with bunker. I just want to keep dry and uh, I will be happy. I'll play about here, I think. Hopefully the wind then can bring it back over to that narrow band of fairway. Yeah, well, we're staying away from the water anyway with the fast, but it looks like we're going to be hopefully in a bunker. I prefer bunker over heavy rough. Actually, no. I'll see how far it runs out. Didn't go as far as far left as I thought it was going to. So we're in the fairway. With 58 yards, going to play about 60, so that's pitch shot. And I don't think I'll touch it, not with that slope. Oh, but it's another fast, so I'm going the opposite way now. To the slows, but actually worked out well. Let's see if we can claw one of the double the double drop back, and we do. Back to one under par. I wonder is it gonna be one of those rounds? But it, yeah, look at the scorecard. No par fives on the front nine. I'm wondering if one of them was supposed to be a par five. We'll see what the scorecard says once we uh, make the turn. But hole number eight is another par four, and it's 512 yards down eight feet. So some yeah, some lengthy par fours. I'm wondering if at least one of them was meant to actually be a par five. But it is it is saying a par seventy two, so I'll assume that it's gonna be four par fives on the uh on the back nine. So we will see in a few minutes. Right. Two hundred and fifty seven yards up eighteen, so that's gonna play about two sixty three. Fairway is fairly level, so I think what we'll do is we'll try and just a bit of draw. No, that's the wrong club. Bit of draw on the driver. That's a dirty one again. Just snapped me thumb forward there. It's been a little bit unpredictable on me today, even after a warm up round. And it's a nice little lake over here. What have we got? Little sailing boats and a speedboat. Get out and get yourself a little bit of fishing. And another nice little complex here. And what have we got over here? I see another seating area with the car path wrapping around. Take in the views. And another one off in the distance just below the wind marker there. Just relax and take in the views of the lakes. Right, let's reset ourselves. Uh, so what is it? Yeah, 52. We're going to play about 53. Terrible uh, lie percentage. So I think actually... Pitch shot is going to be... Nope, I'm all over the place here. Pitch shot is going to be best. Oh. <laughs> it's just one extreme to the other. Um, yeah, okay. We'll take a chip shot. Oh, we're going to give away that birdie, aren't we? Unless this can run... Oh, it's turned a bit too much. A little bit pacey as well, but... Oh, we could go over par here. We could definitely go over par. Oh, get there. Get there. Get there. Ah! Died of death right at the end. Another double bogey. Now we're plus one. Yeah, it's going to be one of those rounds. We are going to have to fight for, uh, fight for an under par finish on this one. So par three to finish off the front nine. And measuring 242 yards, down 5 feet, so about 240. Um, plenty of room with that slight little tailwind, which is dropping right down. There we go. Forget about the little pause at the top of the backswing. I'll speed that up, and not a bad shot at all. Very slight bit... He's upstairs and I can still hear him purring. I have, to, I have the door open here. Um, Alfie, one of the cats. When I say he's like a bloody... He's like a locomotive. He's like a train when he's uh, when he's purring. Right, back to even par at the turn anyway. But uh, yeah, I can hear him. Even with the headphones on. I don't know if he's coming across in the mic, but I can hear him purring. Okay, so the first par five of the course to kick off the back nine for number 10. 559 yards down, five feet. Reachable. Hopefully. And... Uh, can redeem the self after two double bogeys on the front nine. So 
So, oh, 283. Uh, we can try the driver off the deck again. And actually, just looking apart from the big waste bunker area there, this is a bunkerless hull. Okay, right, let's see how far we can chase the driver off the deck. Slide fast. Now, I don't know if it's going to have the, the legs to run itself onto the green. Now, it's going to come up a little bit short, leave us with maybe about a splash shot. 31. So, sand wedge should... Or we could do gap wedge. Try and sit it quick with a bit of spin. And here's Louie, how are you? All down to annoy me, it must be feeding time. Uh, yeah, just after seven, so. That's it, uh, two of them. Don't see them from one end of the day to the other half the time until they want to be fed, in particular Alfie. All right, so tap in for the bird, get ourselves back to one under par. Let's have a look at this scorecard. So, only two par fives. Oh, there we go, so there's only two par threes as well. They're balancing out, that's what it is. So no more par threes for the course, and just one more par five. Hole number 11, though, is par four, and it's 306 yards down 12 feet. Four mile per hour wind from the back, playing it right over the waste area. And I think we are just going to hit it straight. Well, we'll put a little bit of fade on, see if we can take a few yards off. But uh, yeah, otherwise we're definitely going for this in one again. That's better. Now, hopefully, put enough draw on to take a few yards off it. Oh, we did. How far is it going to run out? A little bit too much. Lengthy putt, but it is for an eagle. So, I'm not going to look down my nose at that. Uh, let me see. I'd say about maybe... He did say the greens are fair, but deceptive. Um, one and a half get there. Oh, I've under hit it. Under hit it, but should walk away with birdie. And we do. Okay, so back to two under par again. Hopefully no more drop shots. Two double bogeys. Can't believe that. It's been a while since I got more than one double in a round. But hole number 12 anyway. Try and keep it going. Par four, 422 yards. Very deep waste area over here, so do not want to go down there. Don't think we need to worry about the war. Solid tee shot. As we play back towards the clubhouse. It's just off to the right there. So, a lot of palm trees. All around here. And there's our little practice area. Should have hit there first before I started playing around. <laughs> Get my approach shots in. Right, 136. Uh, down one. Got to say, closer to 140 with the wind. A little bit of loft on attack angle on it again. Just send it up in, even though the wind is trying to pick up. There we go. Just watch the top of the club head. Wait for the, the slight pause before transitioning into the down swing. A little bit too much loft and spin. But birdie opportunity from 16 feet. And I'm actually I'm gonna worm cam this. I think it's just over the green line. Not by much. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, a little bit more now. So oh, just walk away with the park, stay at two under. So if we can stay two under, I'll be happy. <laughs> to uh, just finish the course under par, that's always my goal. If I get a super low score, then happy days. But as long as I finish under par. Hole number 13, par four, 507 yards up 18 feet. So I'm going to play about 513 from the back tees. And we should, yeah, definitely should be able to carry over there. Or if I hit a decent swing anyway. Oh, <laughs> it's off the tree. Kind of, I think, worked out a bit in the favour. Knocked us back into a bit of a better view. But um, terrible light percentage again with the woods. So we just smashed the four iron out. There's perfect. 
Where's that off the tee? All right, so I managed to get another 168 yards off there to leave us 92 up 15. So about 97, 94, 95 with the wind. So a slight little touch of D left, but a little bit of spin on it though. There we go. It's tracking pretty good for it. Oh, a little long, too much D left with that tailwind. We could drop another shot here. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to go full green line, but close enough. That was a green line. It was a green And I slightly pushed a bit of a bendy, uh, bendy swing line there on that. But another bogey. Back to one under par. Par five. Let's see how long this one is. Let's see if we can pull that back and maybe gain one. So, number 14, sitting up, we're not getting there too, 659 yards, up 123 feet, that's not up 123 feet, is it? Can't be. No, that's not 123 feet. Really? I, we'll see if it changes after this shot, but that does not look like 123 feet up to me. Slide fast out to see, but that should be fine. I'm not even going to bother thinking about getting there in two. If the yardage is playing true and uh, to what it says. Up 86 feet, apparently it is. We're slowly getting up there. Um, we should be okay with that. Bunker right in the middle of the fairway. Alright, there's perfect. See how much more we've gotten uphill. So 31 feet up still. Uh, so 161. Going to play about 171. Uh, what way is the green sloping? Very big, generous green. Plenty of room to run up to the hole. And fairly level. So I think a little bit of D-locked on the 7 iron. Oh, we got the perfect. Now it looks to be running fairly... I have a very little break leading up to the hole, but I could have put a little bit more D-loft on that. So still a lengthy putt, but it is for birdie. 17 feet. And I've underhit it, have I? Ever so slightly underhit it. That's a wasted opportunity there. So just a string of par fours to finish off the round for the final four. Number 15 being the first of those. And measuring 541 yards down 172 feet. Okay. So Picanto wants me to uh, try and do math again. But uh, we should be okay with driver off the tee. Now I'm just looking at the fairway actually. It is possibly going to run. Yeah, I think if we aim about here, we need to pull it back over. Otherwise, oh, that's going to hold straight. So this might still kick aggressively down to the left or run aggressively down to the left. Depending on how severe the slope is, but it looked quite a big slope, but we are fine. We're going to be on the slope, so ball well above the feet. 199, down 49. Um, this is where I need to think, right? 45, 15, 16 down. Uh, so about 193, 183, 170, right, we're pulling right back to 6 iron, still want to put, ooh, maybe even, mm, no, I don't think 7 iron is going to get there, we'll go with the 6, uh, yeah, 6 iron, put a little bit of loft on, just with that uh, slope we're sitting on. Slight slow on it. Should be on the green anyway, comfortably. But again, it's going to be another lengthy putt. And I've got all sorts of things popping up on the laptop here. I don't know what. Get off. 
There you go. Okay, 32 feet up 4 inches for the birdie. I think we'll go one and a half. I want to hit it again. Again, left it badly short by 5 feet. I have that little count speed, as you know, I do the, the counting method on the backswing. And I just, because I'm so used to playing the faster greens, just have that particular pace in the head. But uh, not to worry, still under par, hole number 16. 346 yards up, 39 feet. So I'll play over this way, I think, with that wind. That's a very nice swing. And that should just leave us a pitch shot into the green. Hopefully we can get it in close and get another birdie on the scorecard. And get back to two under par. Certainly don't want to be short and right. 71 up 16. So I'm going to play about 76. I think 60. Ooh, let me see. No, we'll go up to the gap wedge. Put a little bit of left and spin on it. Nope, that's slow. Oh, we're hitting that slope. Off we go. Now if it picks itself up enough pace to get off the green, hopefully we can get a bit of a lengthy chip up. Maybe stand a chance of running it in. Fairly level. Nope, that's fast. I pulled that off to the left. Didn't have the distance anyway. So just a par. Two holes left to play. Two more chances to try and get at least one more birdie on the scorecard. Oh, I'm not, I just I don't like the look of that. That front uh, front nine on the scorecard there, though, six and uh, eight with the double bogeys. All right, so hole number 17, though, par four. 471 yards down, 23 feet. Bunkerless hole again, and got a nice big tree. Try and bend it around on the approach shot. Again, tidy swing off the tee. Where is it for the approach shots? Where was a swing, tempo and swing line like that though for the all the other holes on the uh, <laughs> on the round? Not so worry. Right, 178. Gonna play about 179. So 180 in. Oh, that's a nasty little pin. That is a nasty pin to get a. Right, got it perfect. Now hopefully the wind pulls. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bye, bye, ball. Down to the bottom tier. Ah, it's going to be a... I won't say the word of a pull. <laughs> this would be the one that I drain. No, I won't be draining that. Uh, 61 up three. Um, It's just a case of just... What the hell was that? I, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, just a case of just trying to get this one close. Um, I have no idea if I've under or over hit that. Slightly under it, but considering up three feet. I just managed to grab another par. Keep ourselves at one under. Come on, we can get another one and go two under par here. And we got a few birdies there on the front nine, but just all oh, the two double bogeys just killed it. Absolutely killed. And then, yeah, there's another bogey here on the back nine, wasn't there? Uh, but anyway, here we are, final hole, number 18. And it's 520 yards down one foot. And we certainly do not want to be red fast or... or yeah, we're well red slow. Hopefully grey slow wouldn't uh, send us down to the right. Grey fast I will take. The wind should keep that nice. It does. Come on, we can get a good final approach. Still going to be over 200 yards though. 222. Uh... I mean, I if I want to get on here, and that's a small green as well. <laughs> um, 188 is just not going to get there at all. So the only option is... Just going to wrap it in with big draw.
Oh, beautiful. Now, if it turns around... No, that's not turning around as much as I thought it would. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Just, yeah, let's just play for par, so. <laughs> Unless we can magically get a hole out here. 16 yards. I think we'll go pitch and wedge this time. And certainly put a bit of D-lock on. It's going to run uphill. Not a bad effort, even though it was a little bit fast. Just hadn't got the, the pace to get there, so let's see. It's a knee knocker. Oh, just about just about crept it in, keep ourselves under par. I say I'm happy to finish under par, but my god, yeah, so just two bo two birdies, back nine, single bogey. And uh all oh, those double bogeys. That's uh Oh that's horrible. Well, I say I finished under par, so I'm happy enough with that. I'd say it could have gone a lot better. But uh, my tempo being a little all over the place. But uh, where was I? What was I looking at there? Uh, I was going to look at some. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fairways and regulation, 75%. Greens and regulation, 61%. So, yeah. Could have been a little bit better on that. But uh, we'll get ourselves onto the scorecard to finish up. Have a look at the disastrous front line. And um, kind of subpar. Uh back nine as well just one under even on the front you really balance it out there but uh anyway great course again by picanto certainly a bit of a challenge to say if the wind was any stronger on that that would have been an over power round that definitely would have been an over power round if the if the winds were up in double digits i'd say but uh yes that is where we are going to leave this one anyway this has been whispering palms by uh picanto 2014 again another great course and uh, certainly a nice challenge so that as i say is where we're going to leave this one thank you all very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to drop it a like if you have not done so already or you're just brand new to the channel do consider subscribing and i will talk to you all in the next one until then take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now